Hi, uh, my name is Jack. I run the company CTNX Synth from upstate New York, USA. CTNX Synth. And uh, we are here at our very first Montreal Knob session uh, to bring you a selection of primarily analog Eurorack modules, as well as our new uh, standalone contact mic slash inline amplifier first contact. Um, so people without uh, modular sensor who bring things can use this to plug it into their case um, and we've we've had some success with people bringing their own synths today um, be on the lookout for that it's coming out very soon um, but we've also for the last three years been releasing a lot of really great Eurorack modules that uh, have drawn a uh, I guess, varying degrees of praise depending on the module. Uh, but um, yeah, we've got we've got a selection of our earlier modules here. We've got a uh, marsupial filter that people are really liking a lot. The uh, psychedelic voltage processor, which is using these crazy color changing LFOs to make uh, chaotic voltages. And then um, the main one that we're featuring here today is the uh, Shaka 8 voltage controlled stereo matrix mixer, as well as the expander, the uh, Shaka 4 stereo matrix expander. And uh, what these are, are are uh, fully stereo VCA based uh, matrix mixers where um, at each point you have uh, the ability to control the send of four uh, stereo sets of inputs um, going to on the main unit two sets of stereo outputs so that makes that really great for as I have it patched up now uh, looping in a single effect I have my delay here and um, what's unique about this one is that it has a uh, voltage control for the level of each send here so I I'm actually able to modulate the level of my signals uh, in, you know, dynamically with my modulators, uh, going both to the digital delay as well as a separate uh, output channel, as I have the expander hooked up uh, here to do. And uh, this is only one expander, but you can actually chain more than one expander to make it an even larger matrix mix, uh, all with the same uh, behavior and low noise and all of that as the uh, original unit. So yeah, people with lots of stereo effects are really just one stereo effect that they like to use a lot. If they're looking for uh, something to loop, uh, you know, to, to create a really good effect send and return and have vol full voltage control over it, this is definitely uh, the thing. <laughs> you say you can add more? Uh, yep. How many of them you can uh... I have gone up to five, I okay. believe. I, my math says you could probably do about 10 safely, but I'm not, I'm not comfortable saying 10 at this okay. point. Um, but yeah, at least I have done five in the lab with no problems. Okay. Uh, so that turned it into a four input, six output fully stereo, stereo matrix mixer. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, at some point when I have a lot of them, I'll, I'll do more. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it can, be, it can be really big or really small, depending on your needs. Uh, and yeah, with, of course, full voltage control over everything. So yeah, that's uh, that's the one we've been focusing on today. Perfect. Just to explain, I've got uh, in my patch here, I've got three different voices coming in. I've got sort of a snare drum sound, a uh, mono synth sound where I can change the uh, you know, the cutoff here and the sound of all of this. This is our marsupial filter, and uh, as well as a weird uh, pinged uh, filter sound. And so what I'm able to do is actually control how much of each of these are going to the delay, as well as the feedback of the delay itself. And then also the, the uh, dry level of each of the outputs, as well as the output of our delay, finally. So that's just really powerful for, uh, you know, uh, uh, an effective uh, effects routing solution. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, been been great to uh, be here so far. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs>Hi, uh, we're here with uh, Leaf Audio, a German company, and we've got different products here that uh, they came up with. Most of them, uh, all of them actually, are using contact mics, so they're actually fun boxes. And what is amazing about them is that every time people play with them, it's like going back to childhood, so it's, it's amazing. But um, it's, it's de deceptively very simple to use, but at the same time it's really amazing. And you can do so many things. It's not only about making noise, and uh, obviously you can do some um, sound design with that, but it can be really a full instrument that you can use for performances, uh, like uh, most of the time rhythmical uh, performances, but it's very interesting what you can do with that, which I'll show you a bit. Let's just try them. Start with what, this one? Yeah, sure. Well, we've got here a contact mic. 
that goes into the preamp, which was uh, specifically made for uh, contact mics. It's a, an amazing preamp that gives you amazing quality for uh, anything that uses contact mics. Uh, you also have something that's hidden right here, which also is, well, it's actually a seismic uh, microphone, which will um, will be able to uh, catch really low frequencies, as you can probably, can you hear yeah. yet? Yeah. So right now it's attached to, to a water bottle and all you're hearing is kind of a really low end rumble. And this is the kind of microphone you'll be using to catch uh, anything like from an earthquake quake and uh, vibrations like that. So it's a very interesting thing. It's a, and it's a good coupling this microphone, well, this contact mic with this one because you'll have both both uh, worlds. So we've got a contact mic right here, which is a magnetic, hooked up to the super preamp we have here. Okay, and obviously a bit of delay and reverb in there. So. Could be putting this on the table as well. So here you've got the playground, which has one con contact mic right in around here. And here you have the uh, sound box, which has two contact mics as well as preamps. My playground is connected into one of the inputs, well, the input that's available to the uh, sound box here. And I'm basically using the preamp from this to, um, to kind of power this box here. Yes. So let's try different things. You added reverb, I guess. Yeah, reverb and delay. Thank you very much.